Hey guys, welcome to 2021. Uh, this is the first video that we're doing in the year and for this opportunity we have a music or video or track or album release plan, 30 days plan, uh, based on a whole bunch of videos on marketing music gurus uh, all over the internet about how they release their plans and all the things that they suggest and they put it all together in a plan that you can use for free because it's just down there on the link below. We'll take you to a blog in which I explain in detail how to use it but then also uh, you have a Google Sheet, you copy, you paste it, and then you use it for you, and you're good to go. Before I start jumping on the specific items on this video, I would like to thank um, Chewy because they provided uh, Corebox X so we can keep uh, recording a lot of musicians and edit the video faster. I want to thank Danae who actually gave us his t-shirt, and then Gustavo Obligado who provided the music for making this video. So let's jump right into the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, what you're going to find is um, three main tabs, the release plan, the contact list, and the watched videos. Obviously, the watched videos are all those that I watched before, and I detail and I put a lot of comments, so you can know exactly like the different stages that each one of these video creators um, or marketing guru suggest. Um, and there are many, many, many of them, so you can check it out. I mean, but, you know, just get the plan. <laughs> This release plan, it's roughly speaking, I mean, you can change it, but it's based on launching one track, a live video or a video of that track, and then a live concert or a concert. So that whole process will take 30 days. Um, and the group of activities are three, which are like 13 activities that you're gonna go through and divided in these three main groups, which are the first group, defining your value. I mean, who are you going to communicate this music or this release that you have, okay? So if you're doing surf music, okay, so you wanna go and you know talk to surfers, let's say, I suppose. Um, then the second group, it's about these partners, like playlist bloggers and labels. How are you going to interact with them? You know, maybe some best practices on how to actually get their attention for them talk about you and then the third group it's more about how you're going to use your follower base or explore your current contact base okay so what I did was like all these um, 13 items are also subdivided in um, different little tasks in which I explain all this and remind that everything is explained in the video uh, and the blog that I created on the Kinemico page so you can read it and you can understand a little bit better what exactly I mean with all this. But if you go to the release plan that you're going to copy paste and use it on your you know, own Google Drive, each one of these groups is going to be divided by subgroups that actually have a specific um, moment that you're going to be deploying each one of these activities. Okay, So it's important that if you're going to add some more activities, you can definitely add them there. And I'm closing the group just because it's easier to actually see it this way. So everything starts with, you know, defining your value and your goals, okay? Who are you going to be talking to? Who are the people who, are go, who potentially will listen to your music or, or resonate your music with? Then, you know, when I talk hack your algorithm, I see all these gurus talking about algorithms and blah, blah, blah. But I think the only algorithm you should hack is yours, which goes by, you know, adding all the people that really follow you, all your contacts, and then have like a conversion rate and some specific goals. So if you don't achieve these goals that you set there, at least you know where you fail, okay? Um, and you can refine it in the next launch. The idea is that you make a 30-day plan and then you use it again and then you get more audience and then you keep refining and understanding what's your specific um, goal, you know, the real goal that you actually get when you're making, uh, I don't know, a Spotify release or a video release or whatever that may be. So this is... Um, this is the, uh, like the first group of activities that actually talks about the things that you need to do yourself. Like get all your media assets ready, your call to actions ready to specific dates. Then once you have the um, call to actions ready or you have your artwork or your uh, image assets or whatever that may be, in that case, then you start uploading and you make sure that you upload the tracks through your distributor, whatever you choose, these or Kidido, if they are publishers, I don't know, like City Baby, that depends on your costs um, and scope. And once you have all those stuff ready, then you need to start working on 
these people, you know, like how am I going to manage this playlist? How am I going to get the attention of this playlist or these bloggers or these podcasters or these booking agents and labels? So what, based on these videos that I watch and what I suggest as well is, um, and I detail this on the blog, like if you're going to be talking to these people and they don't know you whatsoever, I mean, some people have these cherished beliefs, like I'm going to send them an email and then they're going to put it on their playlist or you know, they just want to pay for some playlists, maybe some, you know, random places in the universe that are putting some music and then you're seeing like, oh, these people are streaming to my music. I don't suggest that. I think you should definitely go and check the playlist and list all these playlists that you're going to talk to and send them a message individually. Hopefully not like, hey, me, 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 talk about my music or put my music into your playlist. Maybe you can have some strategies that could apply for all these partners. Say, Imagine that you have a blog that you make on Medium, for example, or any other blog post um, website. You create a blog post saying the top 10 best playlists, which are those that you want to be part of. And then you contact the playlister and they say, hey, listen, um, I just put you in this blog. I think your playlist is great. Take care, you know, keep it up. This is a completely different way of approaching somebody because you're providing value to them rather than asking them like, hey, listen, do this for me. They don't even know you. I mean, you know, they have many other requests. So it's better for you to target those guys, those playlists, and then you send them a message like a cheer up. Same, same with the blogs. Like, hey, I really like what the content you guys are writing. Um, you know, take care, keep it up. And I detail all these, you know, like when you're going to be contacting this playlist and then I put it also in the blog. Um, but the most important thing is that for all these contacts, I would definitely suggest that you send them a message first um, about you know how good they are or how you like their content or how do you appreciate the concerts that they've been doing. Once they come back to you, then eventually you engage in some sort of request of can you, you know, put my music in your uh, blog? Can you put my music in your podcast or whatever that may be? I think if you provide value to playlisters, then you can also provide value to labels because if you have the playlist, you can create a playlist, which actually really works. But then um, if you have these blogs where you talk about the playlists, maybe you can also talk about the labels and say, hey, listen, I'm going to put... Um, you know, your musicians in my playlist, what do you think? So at least you create some engagement in which you are providing value to them, not the other way around. In that case, you are gonna, you know, get your balance on your favor. I think that's a better approach. I think it's better to provide value first rather than, you know, waiting the others to do things for you, even if they don't know you, of course. Um, so think about this and be strategic about who you're gonna be talking to, right? I try to actually get here like specific moments that you're going to be contacting these booking agents and I put also the comments here on the spreadsheet so you can not forget about it. Same with the Facebook groups, right? Or Reddit groups. Provide value because if you're talking there like, hey, please go watch my video and they don't even have idea who you are, um, it's not going to make it for you. Um, but if you start saying, hey guys, I got a playlist, who want to be part of the playlist, then these musicians in the group, um, they're going to be willing to actually join with you, uh, see what you're cooking and say, okay, listen, I want to jump here in this um, amazing playlist that this musician that now I'm listening um, is trying to do. So all the time, keep in mind, provide value, then things are going to move along. Uh, so let's jump now in the third part of the, um, of the spreadsheet, which is how you're going to use your friends or how you're gonna contact your friends, your musician friends, um, and some other people in your social media activities so they do some stuff for you. This is kinda of important. Many of the other videos that I watched, they, they actually you know, suggest to make a lip syncing video. I think that would be a great idea. Um, that will definitely take some management, you know, some, you know, first get the, the names of the friends who could do the lip syncing videos manage these people and say, hey, listen, we're going to be releasing the lip syncing video here and there. Um, please do this on this day and the other one. Now, organizing all these contacts, it's going to be a little tricky as well. And the thing that it's most important to do, I would suggest, is make sure that these contacts, when they create the content for you, they don't give it to you so you put it on your social media. I mean, you don't really want that. What you really want is like them talking about 
you on their social media. So this is something that, you know, figured it out from scratch. If you're gonna ask musicians to play your track, make sure that they play your track, they put it on their social media, so you can actually get some of their audience. Not the other way around, it makes no sense that you're having musicians using your social media to the same followers over and over. You want the others to talk about you, then you get the followers from the other person. This is kind of basic, but I see many people actually doing it the other way around, and it just doesn't get any follower. I strongly suggest you use WhatsApp to contact all the other contacts who you know will not do another um, job for you. Say more than listening to a track, watch the video, or get the get a link to live concert, whatever that may be. Um, and I suggest WhatsApp for the following reason. WhatsApp is the only platform that allows you to contact many people at the same time using a broadcast, um, what they call that, WhatsApp broadcast. So you can just say, hey, how's it going? You know, and send a bulk message to many people. And once they are replying, then you engage in a conversation and you send them um, the message and your link or the pre-save link or the video link on Premiere, etc., etc. Don't use the WhatsApp broadcast wrongly like many other people use it which is sending a big bulk paragraph of five links saying hey friends family from sports whatever i don't really care about you but please go to my link bye take care i don't think that's a good way to actually communicate with anybody um if you're doing that you're very amateur to be honest so don't do that stuff anymore i mean you're not creating a conversation you're just bothering people that's what that's definitely a spam you can communicate with people effectively using broadcast by just saying at the beginning, hey, how's it going, period. When they come back and they're saying, I'm doing great, how about you? Doing great, super busy, I really need some help now, can you pre-save this, period. Get a template for that. Don't be sending people huge paragraphs, even if you don't care about them, okay? Pay attention to that stuff. Um, one specific thing, in the social media activities, Definitely, you can actually do a lot of social media by posting on the Facebook, um, using the Facebook Business Manager on Instagram and both Facebook. So I'm not going to tell you exactly which content you're going to provide because the content you're going to get it at the very beginning when you have your assets ready, your call to actions, your pictures, your album art. So you want to be creative on that. But what you definitely want to do is I want to sit one day and schedule all these things uh, using some schedulers for social media. Um, and remember that what you're going to do is that you're going to put all the efforts on the pre-save at the beginning, then you're going to do all the efforts for the live video, and then you're going to do all the efforts for the live concert. Um, one, of the, um, one of the things that you can definitely use is like emails, right? For all those people who are not your very close friends or you don't have them on the WhatsApp broadcast, in that case, I suggest you definitely get your email chain. So get your email chains ready. Uh, well in advance, so you're just going to start sending uh, messages to these people um, basically on the pre-launch, on the live video, and then on the, you know, when you're going to be releasing the live concert. This is going to be important that you keep that sequence of emails ready for all those that are not personal contacts, okay? So all those other, you know, I don't know, previous employers or other organizations, then you put them on an email list. And finally, something that many people talked about was the... Um, these is special challenges, um, you know, if you're going to buy pizza or you're going to give a merch or something, I think there's a specific way that could work for specific audiences. I don't know which trick you're going to be doing, but I think it's good for you to take them into once you have the, your track, um, once you have your track there uh, released, then you start doing uh, one of these, you know, special challenges and then if they share or they talk or they share your music or they lip sync or whatever that is then for the live concert or for the live video that you're going to be releasing um then you give them some sort of a merchandise and i think those are activities potentially work i mean there are like so many to actually do like that um and i don't know some people some of the videos that we're talking about like you know giving merch cds pizza buying try to be as creative as possible on that one um, you're gonna kind of figure it out. So all of this video, remember, it's all explained into the blog that I described before. And then on the contact list, what you're gonna find there is you have 
uh, all your WhatsApp contacts divided in a group of like 10 people per broadcast, okay? So try to actually make it um, 10 and then, you know, you fill it and then you go to the next broadcast and so on and so forth. So if you don't have, uh, if you don't know how to actually use a broadcast, send me a message. I'm gonna just drop you some links and the links are below. Um, then on the other uh, partners or booking agents or label that you're gonna be using for this purpose, also divide them in group by 10 and I would suggest that you actually go all the way through the contact list. You write them down so you have an idea of who you're gonna be contacting when in advance and then you start deploying all these contacts and these emails and these DMs that you're gonna be doing. So without further to say, remember that in the blog you're gonna have all these descriptions on what to do at which stage. Uh, a little bit more in detail, but then um, try to copy paste this sheet, use it accordingly. If you have some doubts, let me know. I'll be happy to go and check it out and you know work it out with you. You have a link for the band form of Kirimiko. We can just jump on and call 15 minutes if you have some doubts and I'll be really happy to help. So you guys have a great day, great 2021, and I hope you guys use the plan. Take care, bye-bye.